Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's evening yoga with mystical me and music. I'm going to DJ for us. And oh my goodness, it's been a harrowing day. It wasn't a harrowing day. I just had to work all day. Nine to five. I biked to work and I had like mm, a premonition that it was going to start to rain. So I brought my umbrella. And then it started raining as I was biking. So I biked even faster. And then I was almost at work and all of a sudden the rain was hurting me. I was like, oh. It had turned to ice because it was cold. I was like, how is it raining? Because <laughs> it was cold out. <sighs> okay, so please forgive me for so many reasons tonight. I need a drink. Kombucha, <sighs> cheers. Oh, so good to be home and I have power. So, so much of the island of Montreal right now has no power, so cheers, we are blessed. Blessed we are for so many reasons, okay. <sighs> So forgive me for being nuts, but I'm just so happy that we're getting to do this and I'm getting to do it somewhat relaxedly because <laughs> I'm really wanting to do it before I lose power and I want to be able to upload before I lose power because I don't know, I have a feeling I might lose power, but at the same time I kind of don't. <laughs> and I wonder if ice storms and things like this have something to do with karma or I wonder if, you know how I believe everything is always happening as it should. <laughs> Um, really, it, it, it is, but like today, weird things happened all over the city, like my son's bus didn't leave his school until 5 p.m. and like it it broke down, I had to get another bus to come pick them all up and they went back to the school, but it was like his night to be with his dad, so his dad was like in a borrowed car, sort of chasing the bus around trying to like find our son. I was just trying to get my frozen bike home because it turned into serious ice storms throughout the day. All of a sudden, everything is covered in ice, like more and more and more and more and more. And you know, we've already had a crazy ice storm here, so everybody sort of freaks out now every time it rains and and turns to ice around here. So, oof. And it's a full moon. And I'm wearing black, so what the heck is going on? <laughs> I have cheered up. Um, sorry, my past few videos have just been a little bit deep, mystical, you know, she turned older. <laughs> Um, but age is just a number, so let's remember that. Um, it has all to do with our spirit. So my spirit had to cheer up, and it has, and I was thinking yesterday, why don't I just go rollerblading? But it's not exactly the weather for that yet. <laughs> but that will definitely cheer me up. And then I had to work all day today, and that didn't cheer me up either, but it was kind of fine. Um, <clears throat> it was just, I knew my bike was getting more and more covered with ice, and I took a picture. Oh, I forgot I wanted to show. Anyway. Imagine my bike very covered with ice, <laughs> but I had my umbrella so I just pushed it home, very frozen bike. And then I get home and there's a power cord that fell off the lines just, just here. Um, and there's police tape in front of my building and two police cars right now. And so that's, I got home from far away, I could see at the end of the street what was happening. I was like, oh, it's right in front of my building, what the heck? Um, but I got here and it's just the line there and then like all, it's all taped off and I had my bike and my umbrella <laughs> and I had to ask the cop which was this poor young guy freezing outside and like we hate cops but like that guy all he was doing was making sure nobody was gonna get electrocuted and I had still my steel toe boots on. <laughs> okay I had three coffees but like way earlier <laughs> I have to chill. Hi. <laughs> Let's do some yoga. Isn't that what we're all here for? Not to listen to me screech? Okay, so then I ordered food because I got home starving and I feel re I felt really bad because I had ordered food and the delivery guy had to come to my street that's like blocked off. So I took a shower and I tried to relax because um, I did come home and I, I made it around all the cars, through the tape, brought my bike inside and I had power. <gasps> and then I went outside to the Japanese to buy my kombucha. I went out the back so that it was all calm, but like crazy ice in the back alley. And then all of a sudden my ex comes into the deaf and and he's like, do you know where our son is? And I was like, what? He's like, I've been chasing the bus, it's been all around, he's kind of going to go wait outside. 
and then I stepped outside and the buzz was there and our son came up and he was like, oh my God, is our tree still up? He was so worried that his tree, we planted this tree in our yard, this maple tree at the same time around that he was born and um, it's like huge and he climbs it all the time and he was like, I'm at school, the power went out, we only had a flashlight, we were telling scary stories and he was all like, is the tree still there? And like there's cops and stuff and he's like, ah. <laughs> Like he, he left with my ex, but now he's got like five days off because it's Easter and um, is it Ash Wednesday? I did my whole video yesterday with ash on my nose, you guys, from like lighting one of my candles. <laughs> Hopefully you were all checking out my butt and dead. <laughs> anyway, thanks for liking my video yesterday. I was a bit out of it still. Um, but today I am cheering up. I, I have cheered up. See? <laughs> Living and laughing at it all. So my son finally got here, and I swear to God, the guy so I called the sub place. I'm like, did I miss the guy? Because I had this whole shower and stuff. An hour later, and I'm waiting to do my video, and um, the guy's like, I can't open it. Like, it's my job. I didn't even get a plane or anything. I'm just so angry. Whew, should I start this over? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's gonna be good because we're gonna lie down and do some yoga as soon as I have a lot of food and stop making noise. Are you all stretching as I do this? <laughs> okay, why don't I like back this up and we can do a bit of twisting? Because <laughs> we know now twisting is good for the spine, it's good for the emotions. <gasps> we have to center and twist. I probably lost connection with my speakers, but um, let's do a nice practice, okay? So anyway, everybody's okay. Everything's okay. Karma is good here. But then my son told me that on from and somehow in their bus ride, there's so many trees that have been falling down. In where he goes to school, there's big, huge trees. And he's like, we saw a branch of a tree fall off and go through the windshield of a car. And then a girl got to work, my good my favorite colleague, I got to see her for just a little while, and she's like, I was just at the bus, and a branch just fell off a guy, like, and just, just barely missed a guy. It's like crazy out there. <laughs> I hope you're all safe. I'm laughing about it, I'm sorry. Mm, I'm so hungry. When you feel blessed, feel blessed. All we can do is have gratitude. Really, really, I am so grateful to live where I live. I don't have power right now. Okay, and I, I like blasted all my heat just in case I lose power. I'm charging my phone. I have to turn off the heat on it. Okay, so what am I doing with that? Hmm, and then later I'll have a nice bubble bath. Okay. So it's the new full moon. And you know what? Since I had to retire my white dress, I don't really feel like talking about the full moon. <laughs> Libras are very balanced if they're in their higher selves and doing well. If they're not, they are very off balance. How about that? They care so much for the justness. I know they get very angry when their peace is disturbed. <laughs> So, you know, maybe this weather is disturbing the moon and she's angry. Um, my horoscope did say to be careful for people that needed to unleash, but my, all my customers were fine today. Um, but you know what? I ran across this song. I ran across. It was appeared to me, and you know, deep down, I love Celine Dion. Parce que je suis française, puis on est à Montréal, and there's another ice storm happening, so let's honor Celine. And this appeared to me, and, um... I was so confused. I mean, it was early this morning, early this morning, when I had to get up at six and get my kid on the bus. We did that early this morning. Um, long day already. I came home. I had a second coffee. And, um, I came across this video and I couldn't understand what I was watching. I was trying to look at dates and when was this recorded and how was this done and blah, 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 because, you know, Mystical Chic and I was just like, wow. So I want to share it with you all. Because if I can dream, I'm gonna dream I'm on a beach right now. And I just like I got a bunch of new t-shirts with palm trees on them. <laughs> I wanted to show them off. And these are my like musical notes um bottoms that I love so much. And I hope you enjoy. We're gonna listen to this. It's a duet between Elvis and Celine Dion. 
and um, it's just amazing. And so instead, I wanted to talk about Capricorns for just a sec, because I love Capricorns. Mm, my first love was a Capricorn. And he sort of inspired this video tonight, so um, hats off to that. And so Capricorns, they're just so solid. And I'm sure they're out there staying just grounded and good throughout all of this. I don't know how the Libras are doing, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so anyway, he's, he lives in a different city and he's like married and awesome. Um, but he's doing a show and I'm so happy for him because he's really happy doing it. It's all like 80s shows, 80s songs. And, um, just hats off to that. So he posted on Instagram this morning, which is the only way I kind of know what's going on with him. And he really, I guess, advertises a lot. So he was posting that he gets to play this particular song um, and looks forward to it every time that he, they do that show. I think it's called Rock of Ages. I, mean, I should have checked for a show. But anyway, he's having fun doing it and good for him. I think that's great. And um, so the second song we're going to do a flow to Mr. Big. I don't know if you guys know that, but oh my God. Anyway, he was a Capricorn and was my first love. So of course I will forever love Capricorns. My brother's Capricorn. So um, just solid and grounded and just always good. They can do a million thousand different things and they love music. I can just imagine his album collection because he posted a picture of the album of Mr. Big and this song. And I was like, I love this song. I love that song since I was like, you know, with him all that time ago. How old was I? Anyway, cheers, okay, to love and um, the energy of love and good karma and people that succeed and to not let the full moon bother us, but to stay grounded and solid and imagine we're on a beach with palm trees. And if I can dream, I would dream of that. And we're going to watch this amazing duet with Elvis and Celine Dion as we relax. I swear I'm going to chill. And you guys can hopefully see it. I'll put the link at the bottom. Okay, so it's starting. And we have speed of connection. So I always go to a bus to my family, get my sound, we're all good. So enjoy. I'll come here, I hope you can see it.
my eyes are like, <sighs> that wasn't very relaxing, but I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Oof. If I can dream. Amazing. She's just so amazing. If anybody could do that, just stand on stage with a hologram. It's her. Okay, so guess what? Elvis is a Capricorn. That's what all that was about. I forgot to mention. January 8th, which adds up to the number 9, which is my life path number. My favorite number. Elvis. I should do some Elvis specials because, geez, there's so many of his songs that I love. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, she's so graceful because she is an Aries. <laughs> Again, mystical. It's Joan. Oh. So then I had a coffee on my break. <laughs> and then I've kind of been like frantic since then. But like the whole world is over. Okay, so <sighs> now we're going to enjoy Mr. Big. I don't know if you ever watched Sex in the City. It was my favorite show. Um, which my ex teased me about a lot. I don't know. Once in a while, he watched it with me. But Mr. Big. I mean, I don't know. Do the guys? Did the guys like Mr. Big? Probably not. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> the lead character in Sex and the City always loved Mr. Big, and we never knew his name, did we? Did we? Did we ever find out? I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> anyway, I love this name for a band, Mr. Big, <clears throat> and this song to be with you. So if I could dream, it would be to be with you. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, I hope this is entertaining. <laughs> I'm not even going to get to watch it before I upload it, so thanks for joining me. Give me a like. Let's do a fun flow now, okay? Let's do a flow and dream my biggest dreams with Mr. Big. <laughs> okay, I think I'm funny. <clears throat> Do you want to make that as much possible? Hold on, little girl. Show me what he's up to you. Stand up, little girl. A broken heart can't be that bad. When it's through, it's through. Fate betwixt the both of you. So come on, baby. Come on over. Let me be the one to show you. Just 
enjoyed that practice tonight. <laughs> I don't know if I was just a big goofball throughout the whole thing. <sighs> it was short and sweet. It felt good. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'll be okay, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for joining me tonight on this full moon. I hope you can relax. <laughs> morning maybe I'll do a really nice slow calm video <sighs> I'll find some really smooth songs <laughs> okay but thanks for joining me for evening fun full moon practice tonight <laughs> in black with palm trees and the sun always shining from the inside Psh. I love you all give me a like big squeeze out there I hope you're all well give me a comment let me know how it's going